So we've developed a fun concept project around using eye tracking technology and AI within a mobile phone. And so we're using it in order to remote control that car you see behind me. And so the user will look at the phone and the phone will receive that eye gaze and then execute the command that's been requested on the car. This is clearly not really the future of driving, but it's more a fun concept to investigate some of the possibilities around eye tracking technology and how users can interface with the car. We're not suggesting that you would remote control a car while you are looking at a mobile device. Hi, on the smartphone is the Honor Magic 6 RSR. We'll come in March. Okay, you can use Paul Design to bring the more fantastic design and the product. In fact, uh, yeah, and if the Honor Magic 6 Pro can do that, then it will be the ultimate proof. Honor has launched their AI strategy today, uh, which is the, the human-centric user intense AI. Uh, where your gaze actually presents what, what, what's your, what, what is your intent. So uh, based on this uh, eye tracking technology, we can easily uh, predict a human's intent. And then we can know what, what you want. For example, when you, uh, for example, when there's a call, when you gaze at the notification in the front of the, in, in the upfront of the phone, then you will automatically open and it will be easy to answer the phone or decline the phone. Actually, we feature a 3D top camera in the front of our phone, and it can, it can uh, detect your face and your eyes. And then with the AI algorithm and uh, empowered by our AI technology, we can uh, detect your eyeball movement, and then we know where you gaze, and then we can interact with, with that. The Honor Magic 6 Pro is quite an evolutionary device and really represents what we're seeing across the board with smartphones, which is they're all looking quite similar. And what Honor's trying to do at this event is actually get people thinking about the software on the devices, and they, like many other phone makers here, are talking about how they're using AI to change the experience and provide something a bit more fresh from everything we've seen over the last few years. AI on smartphones is an omnipresent theme here at Mobile World Congress. Every new flagship device that we've seen launched has some element of AI. 
The challenge for the device makers is how they can explain that to customers because an AI smartphone means very little. You've got to talk about the services and with Honor we saw some of that, how it will help you with uh, adjusting the photography on your devices, how it will help you with a more seamless way of the user interface on the product itself. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.